The phenomenal one is here. AJ Styles is no stranger to stealing the show, no matter the circumstance. The following is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring, representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia. Weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. AJ Styles has a trophy case filled with titles. A WWE Grand Slam champion. This man has done it all, and he has absolutely no fear. There is one thing we've learned all throughout the years, and that's do not bet against AJ Styles. Hey, he might not be the biggest dog, but AJ Styles has got the strongest bite. And there's no one who fights bigger bell to bell than AJ Styles. You're right. If AJ's breathing, AJ's fighting. The voice of the voiceless has returned. Forget the night of Punk's historic return. But now, Punk must prove himself. Says he's now home, but many competitors have said this is no longer his home. Punk has never been more focused. He's now down to business, and he wants to rewrite his legacy and write a whole new chapter in the WWE. WWE is a different world than when Punk left a decade ago. This company's evolved. Now he must evolve. Punk better evolve. Punk better raise his game. Because nowadays there are many who claim to be the best in the world. One of the UK's best exports. And from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bates. Well, how about this? The first and last NXT UK champ in the building. Well, Tyler Bates is always down for a fight and always ready to get it on. Master Bate has remarkable poise to go with the flow. Well, we have seen time and time again that Tyler Bate has plenty of heart. A pure will to win. It has allowed Bate to defeat much larger opponents. And there's no mountain Bate can't conquer with a little hard work and a little more mustache wax. Triple Threat always a challenging matchup for any superstar. We're all set to go with AJ Styles, CM Punk, and Tyler Bate. Three competitors, one fall to a win, and this is where you start to separate the wheat from the chaff, so to speak. And after that shot to the knee, what could be next? A running Hurricane Rana 
It's showing off the quickness. That'll turn things around in a hurry. Close line to the back of the neck. Oh, Bate was ready for that. Just breaking down the opponent. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Using the elbow to escape the attack. AJ just rubbing it in now. He returns to the ring. Paint a picture for me, Corey. Hypothetically, what are some tactics you'd use to win an ODQ match? Well, I'd stash some kendo sticks beforehand. Maybe have a buddy waiting to give me a much-needed hand. Maybe throw Saxton like a fastball special. That's the beauty of a no disqualification match. You can do all that and not get dinged. The sky is the limit. Wow, what an arm drag. Saw it coming and got out of there. A running Hurricane Rana. Beautiful. Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. Styles looking for... Oh! Reverse deep. He can pick his opponent right here. Dying a two count there. It'll take more than that to hold him down. Oh, look at this. Float over neck breaker. Picture perfect. Into the German. He's taking some good hits. Hard hitting damage coming from Bate. He got whipped into that corner. With the counter. And one more reversal. Talk about evenly matched here. That holds back Styles' attack. Boom! Oh, what an uppercut. Oh. Pump wasting no motion on the counter. He's one step ahead there. Ouch. Nicely done. Snap super so quick. My, oh my, what elevation. Cover. Gets the shoulder up. Somehow, some way. He's reaching under the ring for anything useful. He has a kendo stick in hand, and this place just turned into South Swanson Street. Send him up here. Up in the suplex. Oh, no. Neckbreaker. Clutch. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. Uh-oh. And Bates steers clear there. Jumping neckbreaker. Ouch. Good golly, Miss Molly. Arm breaker. Big forearm. This is just brute power. What a German suplex. His shoulders are down. That could have been it right there. Position now. Into the foot slam. Front face lock applied. It's about to get more painful. Top rope to the cover. And he breaks up the pinfall. Here. Taking off from the ropes. Styles not backing down one bit. Looks like he does want some. Returning to the ring now. Oh man, did you hear the snap of the kendo stick? <laughs> Placing them into the corner. Oh, uncorked a big punch. He's starting to struggle here. Yeah, triple threat matches are no cakewalk, and they're showing us why right now. The pain and punishment, it really builds in these type of matches. Big forearm. Boom! Uh oh. Look at the suplex! No, no, no. no. Neckbreaker! Powerbomb position. Comes back into the ring. Fighting out. Hammer and Raven punches to the face. And that was an effective attack, guys.
There's return fire on AJ. What's coming next? A back suplex. Oh, this should be it. Pop with his opponent up. GTS connects. This spells trouble for Bate. kendo stick he has the power here was ready for that and this match will head back to the ring and each of these lethal maneuvers have got to be taking a toll Bam! down he goes DDT. uncorked a big punch here he goes can he close it out? AJ Styles has done it. He's a winner. Here is your winner, the phenomenal AJ Styles. What a tremendous effort from all three superstars involved in this hard-hitting triple threat. To win a triple threat match, you need incredible skill, instincts, or luck. Dare I say, tonight's winner showed all three in victory. Burn the ships. Baron Corbin is raring for a fight. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The lone wolf mentality is back. No one's safe. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Kansas City. Weighing in at 200. And 85 pounds, Baron Corbin! If you ask Baron Corbin, he will tell you that he is the epitome of what being a WWE superstar is all about. His past destroyed, Baron Corbin looks to unleash some pent-up aggression here tonight. I, for one, cannot wait to see it. Saxton. And his opponent, representing the New Day from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 285 pounds. Big E! Corey, why aren't you clapping? 
because I cannot stand this. This is ridiculous. Cut. Like someone threw up unicorn glitter all over WWE. So, okay, we get it. We get it. You're a Debbie Downer. Get it, Big E. Nice to see you've been studying your third grade book of insults, Byron Saxton. Over the course of his career, Baron Corbin has worn many hats, had many names, but he's put all of that behind him. He's burned the past and now approaches competition with a ruthless focus. Yeah, forget about all the Corbins you thought you knew. This is a different man, a changed man. Baron Corbin has a new fury to him, an intimidating intensity. Corbin seems more than ready to show that off here in this one. Let's not neglect Big E here. As dangerous as he is absurd, if not more so at this point. Take away the laughter, the gyrations, the unicorn horns, oh, and the bootios, and we are looking at one dangerous wrestler. I would never want to take away any of that from Big E, but I get what you mean, Corey. Big E is someone who absolutely deserves to be taken seriously when that bell rings. Lives to fight another day. He gets back into the ring. A hip toss, hip toss to the outside. The fight could get very dangerous out at ringside now. And Corbin may have felt that coming. On oh, a stop. Ooh, targeting the leg there. Oh my goodness. Jam your leg in a bad way. Corey Biggie is obviously known for his power and strength, but you can't deny other elements of his game, like agility and fortitude. Does that kind of combination of skills make a competitor like him difficult to scout? Yes and no, Cole. Biggie has a large body of work to study, so you can figure out his weaknesses, even though that won't necessarily prepare you for running into that brick wall of a man when the time comes. I'd say in this case, the key is to just try to outlast him, tire the big man out, and strike while the iron's hot. Heads out of the ring. What's next? Oh, and a reversal. Short punch. Man, that did not look good at all for Big E. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? That offense might have rocked the confidence of Baron. And did you hear the impact of that? Six. He needs to find his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going up. Oh, man, by the skin of his teeth. Gee, what a way to make us sweat. Elbow throw saying not today. He is delivering elbow after elbow. Huge clothesline delivered. Quick thinking, managing to duck out of the way, delivers a nice back body drop. Looking, looking, looking. Oh, is it enough here? And he powers out. Close call, that was almost lights out. Vicious right forearm. And he has an answer for Big E. Treading all over their opponent. Right to the leg. He's heading up top. Thinking big. Staggering to his feet, but he won't like what's coming next. From the top, diving clothesline. Incredible height. He's outside the ring now. 
now. Hope he's got a plan. Look at this, just unloading. Oh, a nasty stomp to finish it off. Smothering offense now from Corbin. And you have to give it to him here. He's worked to make Big E tired, and now he's striking while the iron's hot. Corbin with the emphatic, aggressive statement right there. And the sick pleasure. No way. Astounding power. End of days. Incredible. Baron Corbin can put it away here. Getting back into the ring. Makes it back just in time. Oof, that was really close. Oh, what a close line. Corbin's got bad intentions in mind. Thanks for coming. The end of days. Big E's completely out of it. There's two. And a win. That may be one of the biggest wins of his career. Here is your winner. Here Not the ending Big E had in mind here. <laughs> Too bad, loser. I guess Big E doesn't rock, does he, gentlemen? Maybe some other time. A young star with plenty of accolades. The youngest United States champion and the youngest Money in the Bank winner in WWE history. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin. So many titles and major wins to this young man's name. Oh, we don't care! Oh. Oh, 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 you stink! You can't handle it! It looks like Theory brought all of his friends in the ring with him tonight. Oh, watch your mouth, Cole. You are looking at the youngest United States champion and Mr. Money in the Bank ever. How did that cash in go? Well, that... I can't... Well, I, I don't have that information readily available. Usually the guys at 2K are great about giving me the stats. I, I, I'll get back to you. Gallus is here, and they are ready for a fight. And his opponent, representing Gallus from Glasgow, Scotland, weighing in at 255 pounds, Wolfgang! Stepping out of the pub tonight to take care of business. I'm sure they're in a rush to get back there, too.
It's a true test for this guy. Austin Theory is a complete package of speed, athleticism, and strength. Superstar who loves to get under his opponent's skin, loves to just grind their gears. Cole. Theory can't help it if he's just so preternaturally talented that it makes everyone else jealous. They're just embarrassing themselves, getting so worked up about it, and Theory just so happens to take pleasure in embarrassing his opponents. Yeah, tonight should be no different for Theory. And just know that the black eyes and bruises are almost guaranteed in this one, courtesy of Wolfgang. Nothing elegant about it, just violent, crushing offense from the big man. And now thrown back into the ring. And this one might be headed ringside. Damn. Connecting on the DDT. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Kick to the gut. Hooked up. DDT. A manager grabbing anything from under the ring is beyond unfair. It's just downright evil. Can he score the pin? No, only kick out. Not yet. Maybe not. Maybe not. He kicks out with authority. He is still very much in this. Wolfgang got out of the way. He went right into that turnbuckle. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. That arm's gonna be sore for a while. Could affect all their offense. Theory is known for his cocky attitude, for his showboating in and out of the ring. Would you consider that a hindrance to him here in this one, or is it the kind of mind games that could be beneficial to him? In this particular case, Cole, I think Theory could stand to cut back on the showboating. I think he's up against someone who isn't going to take too kindly to it, and I'm pretty sure they'll put an end to it in a way of their own if Theory won't himself. And Theory is keeping the match at his pace. Theory is doing the job of breaking the opposition down. certainly sends a message. One, two. Oh, this, this superstar using the rope as a weapon. This is uncalled for. If a shortcut presents itself, you better take it. There was no issue with that attack. Hey, sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures. Who are we to judge? Measuring. Oh, face stop. Theory ascends to the top. From the top. Oh, and he doesn't connect. Quick exchange of counters there. Kick right to the body. Both 
both arms captured and vitriolic stops to stop in every single part of his body putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry delivering nasty stops In the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. And Wolfgang can't mount any offense. Any attempt at offense from Wolfgang is being sapped. He's going to the pin. This could be it. No, he gets the shoulder up. What do you have to do to put this guy away? Headed to the top now. Watch out. If I were in the locker room, I'd say stay out of Wolfgang's way for a while. He is not going to take this loss well at all. It's fight night! Three men born and bred to throw down. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Rich Holland at a combined weight of 472 pounds. The Celtic Warrior, Sheamus, and Butch, the Brawling Brutes. That smash mouth, in your face style, that's what the Brutes are all about. What they do in that ring is a typical Saturday night at the pub. So that should give you an idea of the kind of dudes the Brutes are. The Brutes look more than ready to compete. Corey, what's your analysis? Banger. Here come two superstars made of pure athleticism. The Street Profits are more dangerous now than ever before. Yeah, they may still party, but it's all business first. And their opponents at a combined weight of 492 pounds. Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, the Triple Crown Tag Team Champions, NXT Raw and SmackDown. You know what that means, Michael? It doesn't matter what the brand is, the Street Profits always bring the smoke.
Ford and Dawkins are still great athletes with tons of personality, but now they've made hurting people their business. And quite frankly, Byron, it's a necessary evolution for Dawkins and Ford. These two are ready to make the jump to the all-time greats of the tag division. With the brawling brutes in action, you just know that sooner or later, this is going to devolve into one of those all-out brawls right in front of us. A team of proud, proud men love to fight. Love to fight, love to get a little rowdy. I wouldn't go as far as to call the brutes hooligans, but I would suggest all bystanders clear the way when the brutes are around. Yeah, easier said than done when it's fight night. Anyone could end up on the Brutes' bad side. And let's not underestimate the intensity of the Street Profits. They may like to have fun, but sometimes fun for them translates into bringing the heat. Well, that heat must explain the smoke they're always after. Oh, that's just insulting. A shot like that to the ego can really shake you up mentally. From the top, double axe handle connects. Oh my goodness. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. Boom, what a punch. Is it enough here? He narrowly avoids the count. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Boom, Butch with a timely counter. to be in. Unmitigated demonstration of power. It wasn't the height or distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. Tossed into the corner. Oh. God! Ugly but effective counter. Foot to the face. Gotta find a way to get out of this. Lands first is stomping a wet he thinks he has it kick out close to three not yet Reversals. Dangerous position with your feet tied up like that. Kick. Right in the breadbasket. Devastating kick. Right up against his face. Come on. And there is no other term for that than just cheap. A cheap shot. Reversal. Catches Seamus there. Well, that is a sign that definitely gets the point across. High angle belly of back suplex. Butch looking to continue his assault and joint manipulation. Arm trapped in a hammerlock submission. Oh no, this is gonna be hard to watch. Ah, agonizing. Referee's count at seven. They need to get back into the ring. The defensive elbow to the gut ends that. <laughs> Utilizing the top rope to inflict more punishment. Across the top rope. He's got him scouted. These two trading counters, an absolute master class. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. From the top, relax handle. Cover, shoulders are down. No, he pops the shoulder before three. He thought he had it. Butch. Looking for the suplex all the way up. Look at this power. Oh, no. From behind. Chop block. 
There he goes, right into the corner. Oof. Had it scouted and met with a back elbow. Tag made. We've seen some great chemistry from this team here, Michael. Yeah, incredible chemistry. Toe hold on the elbow on the back of the neck. And Ford's resolve might be wavering here. I don't see Butch slowing down anytime soon. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. And yeah, it's about time to heavily consider tagging in that partner. Still seeing the fight left in Butch there. Butch has been scratching and clawing to force the momentum back in his favor. We have seen these men unleash a lot of devastating offense. Incredible that this match hasn't ended yet. It might just be a matter of time. This one is close to coming to a head. Oh my God. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. Sheamus comes in off the tag. Is it enough though? Well, hey, 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 feet on the ropes. Oh, come on. Plain as day, his feet were on the ropes. Bad call. Here are your winners. The Celtic Warriors, Sheamus and Butch. The brawling Bruce. And Sheamus is the one to put this one away for the team. Tag team excellence in its purest form. You simply love to see it. And I hope we see these guys tagging again real soon.
Oh, yippee, it's Chelsea and Piper. Be careful, Brian. They have the general manager on speed dial. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, the team of Piper Niven and Chelsea Green. Green and Niven possess a continuity that borders the unorthodox, but when they focus on the same target, they get the job done. Yeah, they're united by their desire to rule the women's division at any cost and make the entire WWE universe miserable. When you're talking about the biggest and baddest, Piper and Chelsea aren't part of the conversation. They are the conversation. Trust me, the last thing I want with Chelsea and Piper is a conversation. The one woman highlight reel. And their opponents, first from Glen Ridge, New Jersey, one half of the NXT Women's Tag Team Champions, Katana Chance. I'll give Chance this. She is a very, very hard worker who is always up for a challenge. You know, she won Tag Team Gold in NXT. Yeah, but also still a threat in singles competition as well. Gentlemen, you are looking at 10 pounds of dynamite in a five pound bag. Explosive and energetic. Katana Chance is hard to control when she takes to the skies. Raquel Rodriguez, a massive presence in the women's division. From Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Rodriguez. And NXT Rodriguez won the first ever Women's Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic with the first ever NXT Women's Tag Team Champions. Well, Cole, you can bet Raquel has some more firsts in store for the main roster. Look at the spectacular physique of this woman. A back so big, you could drive your car up to it and watch a movie on it. I gotta find out what her workout plan is like. Harder than yours, Saxton, harder than yours. And always ready to launch an assault, Chelsea Green and Piper Niven are ready for this one. Though unlikely, we can only hope Chelsea keeps her mouth closed. Even a partner Piper Niven can't stand all of her yapping. It's a lot of talk, but this team comes together when you least expect them to, and they wreak havoc on their opposition. But man, are they easy to dislike, especially Chelsea. But their opponents are tired of hearing about them. Tonight's about stealing a spotlight. It's about establishing a new regime around these parts. You could sense the disdain before the bell even rang. Oh, clubbing oh, blow. Oh, and that will keep Rodriguez at bay. Oh, direct impact to the chest. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Tag, switching it up. That's going to hurt. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. And a hammer fist right across the collarbone. When you see a unit as aligned as they are, it's really incredible. Yeah. Down. Face first. <laughs> uh oh. Reversal from Raquel. Well, no, it's roll up. Whoa. Kicks out on the pinfall attempt. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. Raquel said, really? Yeah, as Piper Niven was channeling that ruthless aggression, just dominating the competition there. Wicked clothesline! Yeah. 
Suck of the tree of woe. No escape in sight. Ooh, a sharp kick. Getting carried. Unsure what they're thinking. Like they're nothing. There's a lot of hard ways to land, but that might be the hardest. Oh, catastrophic damage on the back. And look at from the back, suplex. Ooh. Very nice. Climbing up to the top now. we are seeing on display here. Three. Chance doing a little more showboating than working right now. She's got to stay in this one. one. She manages to get control. Paid it right back with a reversal. Receiving in. Whoa! Cross body. Tag is made, and here we go. Oh man, by the hair. This could do it. Great officiating as the ref noticed she was on the ropes. Nice counter from Chance. And a heinous attack to the knee. Getting knocked down a size that can bring them to equal footing. Yeah. Oh. Loving blow. Got their opponent up. Oh, driven down snake eyes. Set right into the corner. And a double shoulder block. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Two fists full of hair. This can't be legal. Oh, just dropped her like she was nothing. And she's in off the tag. Strong right forearm. This match is wearing her down. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Face first. Off the... Uh -oh. She scores big with the counter. Oh, did you hear that? Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Double big back body drop. Stomping down. Uh-oh. Stops the attack with a hit to the gut. What a punch. Able to elude it. Position. Face first. In off the tag.
reaches her partner. Tag. Just in time. Sidewalk slam. A little cockiness here from Raquel. She's surely revving up, but she better put the rubber on the road already. She's pushed into the corner. A couple hard shots there in the corner. Now looking to raise the stakes. Headed it up. Corkscrew sent on. Chelsea's out of it. Completely in peril. Rodriguez hoists her up. Top on the bar. Rodriguez has this wrapped up. Here's her tag. That's how you wear down your opponent. Oh man, looks like her opponent's not gonna need a chiropractor. Close fist connects. Rip, are you blind? to the back. So she tags in. Just Katana with a counter. Need to hustle back to the ring. Just a few seconds left. And a pin will do no good here. Big time win in this tag team match. Here are your winners. The team of Katana Chance and Raquel. The ref completed his count, and we have a winner. This match ending by countout is not satisfying to the WWE Universe. I think they may demand a rematch.
Here comes Michael Cole's favorite team in all of WWE. Damage control. Oh, God. Don't let Bailey hear that, Corey. Bailey. Hey, over here. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring. Representing damage control from San Jose, California. Bailey. Three women who make each other better. Multiple tag team title reigns for Dakota and Io, and countless main events for Bailey. No doubting that, but they've been taking shortcuts to get to the top of the women's division. Yeah, and here's the sad part, Michael. They don't have to take all those shortcuts. Well, you're actually right about that, Saxton. I agree, but shortcuts are what will get them to the top sooner rather than later. Dominance, thy name is Damage Control. The original, the official, the only club that matters. More championships among the three than most of the locker room combined. Club in the world marching towards the pinnacle of their collective careers. A match against Bailey is opportunity ringing the doorbell. Ding dong. Hello. Hopefully, this young lady doesn't get the door slammed in her face. She loves to fight, and she can come at you from any direction. She can get down and dirty on the mat, brawl if she has to, or even take the skies. Meechin's as versatile as she is dangerous. She's as dangerous as the day is long, especially when she's focused. And she looks especially focused here tonight. But make no mistake, Bailey already has a game plan drawn up for this match, one that has her standing tall at the end of the night. It's all about control for Bailey, and that means she has no problem doing whatever it takes to make sure her plan comes to fruition. And Meechin reverses it. A sound suplex. Stalking a downed opponent in a vicious boot and a boot in the face. She scurries out of there. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Hitting the elbow drop. Amongst the women of WWE, Bailey isn't really seen as a powerhouse, Corey. How does she compensate for that supposed weakness in her game? With cunning strategy, Cole, Bailey knows she won't win matches with quick, bombastic offense, so she slowly wears her opponents down. Using well-planned offense, she chips away at them until they completely lose the will to compete. Oh, she has bad intentions now. Removing the turnbuckle pad. Out of the ring, she has to mind the 10 count. Right across the larynx. And she goes for the pin. Surprisingly quick kick out. She's not going quietly into the good night here, making things very interesting. Sharp elbow. The usually prepared Bailey didn't look like she was expecting that move.
the cover. Gets the shoulder up after one. So resilient. Oh, my goodness. Kick to the spine. An onslaught of offense from Meacham. If Bailey can just weather this storm, she'll be fine. Saw that one coming. Doesn't bow well if you still can't get more than a one count by now. Tilt the wall, DDT. Oh, that backfired on her. She might be able to start mounting something here. If Bailey was looking for an opportunity to pull a 180, that could be it. She's taking some big hits here. Bailey hoping to take total control by any means necessary. Oh, sharp knee. these kicks and a what the hair Byron I'll explain to you what that feels like <laughs> steering attention to the neck kick. Insulting. Trying to get that mental edge. You can't let yourself get psyched out. Oh, forearm connects. Oh, what a kick. Right to the gut. Oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. to beat Bailey to the punch. Tornado DDT! Talk about devastation. Whoa, a face buster. And an unlucky Bailey without an answer to that attack. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Meachin fought valiantly, but tonight just wasn't her night. Here comes main event, Jey Uso. The following is scheduled for one fall 
making his way to the ring from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 242 pounds. Main event, Jay Uso! You look at what Jay Uso has done away from the bloodline, and he is definitely worthy of the main event moniker. First man in over three years to pin Roman Reigns. Nearly defeated the Tribal Chief. Went on and earned multiple titles without his family. But Jay will not be happy until he is on top of the mountain all by himself. The entire WWE Universe on their feet for Jey Uso. Well, it sounds like this entire arena agrees that this is indeed the main event. This man is invincible. Dragunov's a man who struggles to keep his rage in check, but when Dragunov loses it, let's be honest, it's a lot of fun to watch. And his opponent from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds, the NXT champion, Ilya Dragunov. You are looking at one of the hardest hitting competitors in NXT history. A man who's ready to unleash fury on the entire WWE roster. With that trademark unflinching gaze, there is no telling what's going through the mind of the czar of WWE. Taking out a competitor like Dragunov is always unnerving. One thing you have to admire about Jey Uso is his passion. When he sets his mind to something, he goes all out to achieve it, even if it means conflict with his closest allies, even his family. Jay is determined to be his own man, and I think that's a very admirable trait. He stood up for himself when others would have bent the knee and just played follow the leader. Even when the choice to do so has landed him in serious trouble, no question, Jay is committed to doing what he believes is best for himself. But one look into the eyes of Ilya Dragunov, and you see that he's more than ready for a challenge. There is a constant fire burning within Dragunov, a ferocity that he can barely contain. That comes out in full force when he's inside the ring. He's truly like a man possessed. Senton connects. Cover! Shoulders are down! Oh, my. How in the world did he kick out of that? Frankly, he should have known that wasn't enough. Dodged right on cue. Something that I think could make the difference for Jey Uso tonight is his furious speed. Jey thrives when he's at a faster pace that takes full advantage of his high in-ring motor. If he can increase the pace tonight, he'll be in the driver's seat for sure. That's a good point, Corey. We've seen many times how Jey's quickness can turn the tide of a matchup. Caught him right in the jaw. Ugh, what a shot. Gotta hurt. Making the arm numb makes your opponent very vulnerable. Ooh. Oh, impact to the stomach. Ooh. Whoa. Hip attack. He can do it here. And a kick out. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. Sure. 
Ilya dragging off with a tremendous kick out, and you have to think that the mad Russian has found a new from the top. Dragon off out of harm's way. Oh, using the knee as a weapon. Ooh, well measured. And that holds Dragon off back. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. He's returning fire. He just barely dodges. Torpedo Moscow. Jay is down and out. Cover. Oh, man, I thought Jay Uso was down for three. Close one. Holy moly, how? Dragunov not backing down, not slowing down. He wants this fight. He's taking this to the floor now. Hoist it up. All the way out. And Dragunov has earned the upper hand here. Dragunov with endless attacks here. Oh! <laughs> Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Caught in a bad position here. Shot after shot after shot. Ooh. Saw that one coming, took advantage. Whoa. Dragunov getting put to the test with that hit. That's just the kind of thing main event Jey Uso does, gentlemen. And he gets delivered back into the ring. High cross locked in. Boom, teardrop suplex. Highly effective. And more to come. Oof. The count looks like a rope break. Oh, God, that hurt. Ilya toying with his opponent a little bit. Okay, consider that a harsh lesson. He's burying elbows in the midsection. He is delivering elbow after elbow. <laughs> Spy Buster! Yeah. Evades their offense. <laughs> Hooked in. You're a noggy! Lights out here. Oh, no, maybe not. <laughs> no, stops the count. Two. A long two and a half in the waning moments of this match. Another one. And he's taking this to the outside now. Oh, maybe not. But power. And Zagiri finds its mark. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. These combatants have stretched their limits here, and it's showing. Win or lose, they are going home tonight knowing they gave it their all. And a clothesline. Whip back into the ring.
there. And I'm going to check on a... Oh, hold up, hold up. The, this superstar... No, oh, come on, this is uncalled for! Now, what does this prove? So much bad blood here. Wasting little time to get this thing started. Here we go. These two are at it. The bell hasn't even rung yet. The official needs to get control. The official doing their best. And maybe we will get some semblance of control and a bell. Here we go. Well, they didn't want to wait for the bell, but the referee finally got things under control. It's obvious the issues between these two are so deeply personal. Finally, this match is officially underway, and the intensity is incredibly high, as evidence of the way that... Uh-oh, and the camel. Camel clutch applied. They're not going to last long here. Wait, wait, wait. The grip is broken. Springboard. Fly. Oh, Boom. What a drop kick. On the mark. Able to give him the slip. Headlock. Oh, a cheap shot right above the eye. And A's turning it around. Big close line. Here's a cover. Only a one count before the kick out. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. Oof. Stop. Carmelo Hayes, known for his high-flying, flashy style. Obviously, that style can be very high risk, high reward, but it can also be very crash and burn. Corey, you've talked about this before. Could that style actually be a detriment to Hayes tonight? Like you said, Cole, it has all the potential to be crash and burn, but Hayes is as gifted a superstar as they come, and he knows what he's doing. He knows the risk, and he knows he's more often in store for a big reward. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. Measured knee drop. And Hayes' confidence perhaps just got a little shaken. L.A. Knight backing up that talk with some masterful in-ring work. No. Drop with authority. L.A. Knight getting it done there. Pure physicality. Lands the knee drop. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Heading up, he's thinking back. Oh, sinking elbow. Knight has become relentless. Heavy work being done to Hayes right now. Here is your winner, L.A. Knight. I didn't think they had it in them. No question they had to dig deep to get this win and shrug off all the damage taken earlier on. A moment of pride here, beating the odds and coming out on top. I'm sure the whole WWE Universe is a little in shock right now.
the dangerous Santos Escobar. From Lucha royalty to the Emperor of Lucha Libre. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the LWO from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos Escobar. Santos Escobar is such a dangerous competitor. He came up in Mexico City's lucha scene. Escobar has always been a standout talent, from fighting in the underground to the highest heights in NXT. A background in lucha tradition, but ready to make his own moves to the top of WWE. You got to be steady, take your time in the match, stay focused, because Orton will not hesitate to strike. And when Orton strikes, your day might be over. The Apex Predator is here. It's hard to believe it's been two decades on the hunt in WWE. And his opponent from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 275 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton. A third generation superstar who had no hesitation when it came to creating his own path when it comes to creating his own legacy. Randy Orton has done just that. But prior to NXT and the WWE Performance Center, it has been said, if you were going to build a WWE superstar from the ground up, it would look exactly like Randy Orton. Has every tool needed to be a legend. Well, Randy Orton has made a career out of psychologically dissecting his opponents. And many of the victims who have fallen for the Viper schemes stay down for good. Writes his own story in Venom. Randy Orton can't be controlled. Match begins, and we know Randy Orton will be looking for that perfect moment to strike. The Viper derives pleasure from psychologically dismantling his opponent and then physically destroying them. Don't close your eyes. Don't turn your back. There's no reprieve, no shelter from the Apex Predator. And in the opposite corner is second-generation superstar Santos Escobar. Escobar wants to shoot that heavy firepower right out of the gate. Escobar is cold-blooded, a mercenary, and what raises his danger level is his mastery of the Lucha Libre style whenever he chooses to unleash it. Get him into the corner. Oh, an overhand punch. Face full of turnbuckle. Ooh, merciless looking blow. Randy Orton gets him back. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. Yeah. Snap suplex. such an intelligent competitor for as much as he's seen and done in this business it really makes game planning against him difficult yeah and to your point Cole Orton likes to capitalize on his opponent's missteps so you can't play into his hand he waits for you to make mistakes so you know don't charring European uppercut super kick ouch oh right to the kidneys golly Escobar on the receiving end. Bad predicament right here. Power to the outside. And that might have shook Escobar to his foundation. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. 
dropping the elbow. Battling at ringside can be very unforgiving. You have to be careful out there. No protection out here. No safe confines to speak of. And gets tossed back into the mat. Whoa, just floating through the air. Goes into the pin. Gets the shoulder up. Wow, what's it going to take? Still has enough energy for the simple kick out. Kick to the midsection. Could be thinking about the gory special. Yes. Oh, the go Trying to find a way out. Elbow into an arm drag. Beautiful escape. some celebration from the stage. A mock celebration, so to speak. Yeah, this is very interesting. Not quite sure what to make of this congratulatory gesture. <laughs> 